Hi there everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So I have a little bit of a 14 karat gold jewelry right here. Now, I don't really uh, fancy this all that much, but I would like to get the gold out of it. Now this is about half gold by weight, and I want to purify that to well, around 100% gold by weight. Now to do that, the first step is to melt it and mix in a little bit of silver. That seems a little counterintuitive, doesn't it? Because you're adding more metal. It's going to take more acid to dissolve this. Uh, you might have seen uh, other refiners and even me doing this in the past and in an upcoming video. And I thought I'd explain why we do this. The process is called inquarting. Uh, basically, you take the content of gold either down below 25% or above 75%, you know, quarter. Where'd I put that world? Ah, there it is. So in order to show this, I have uh, placed some samples of metal onto this uh, green square here. You can't really see them because they are only about eight atoms wide. So let's zoom in and get a closer look. Okay, so here we are in the ultra microscopic level. You can see I've got four samples of metal here. Pure silver, pure gold, 14 karat gold, and 6 karat gold. We are small enough that you can see the individual atoms. So here's a gold atom, and here's a silver atom. So let's go over here with the silver first, and let's uh, attack it with some nitric acid. So nitric acid, when it reacts to silver, forms silver nitrate, which is highly soluble, and voila cuts right through the silver. could easily punch all the way through this block. Now what if we tried to use some aqua riga? This is a mixture of nitric acid and hydrogen chloride. Now the chloride ions, they pacify the silver by turning it into silver chloride. So the nitric component of the aqua riga has no trouble punching through the silver. But then the chlorine reacts with the silver nitrate forming silver chloride. Just like that. So. Punch it again, silver chloride. Now, this stuff cannot be further dissolved by either of these acids. Alright, so what about the gold? So, aquariga dissolves gold very well. Nitric acid cannot dissolve gold. It can oxidize the gold a little bit. You know, might occasionally do this, and then the uh, hydro and then the hydrogen chloride in the aquariga can then dissolve that. That's how it uh, dissolves. But the nitric acid cannot dissolve pure gold. At least not appreciably. Okay, so what about the uh, 14 karat? So this is roughly half gold by weight, uh, quite a bit more uh, silver uh, by number of atom because silver has a lower molecular weight. So let's attack this with, uh, let's start with some nitric acid. Okay. So we can dig into this. You know, remember, we can't destroy the gold blocks. So I'll come in here. You know, I get in. Looks like we get pretty far, but eventually we're going to run into gold. Anywhere we go is gold, and you can't go any further. And keep in mind that this is a very small piece of metal. If this was anything that you could see with your naked eye, this would be millions or well, actually trillions of atoms long. Or thick. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go around on one of the other sides here and let's try attacking this with Akariga. So remember, we can't destroy the silver with Akariga, but we can destroy the gold. Okay. Well, this isn't going to get us very far, is it? No, because the gold is really only... Well, I guess if we start there, but the gold is only exposed on the very outer surface, and now we got a bunch of silver that you can't dissolve. So, very little gold actually goes into solution. The silver protects it. Okay. So, that's uh, rather annoying. This block, the 14 karat, the stuff that uh, jewelry is made out of, can't be dissolved with either of these acids. So, the options are to either put more gold in so that there's uh, not enough silver to hide the gold, or put enough silver in that the gold gets spread out to the point where you could just uh, dissolve the silver, leaving the gold behind. 
and that is the most uh, well easiest way to do it, or at least certainly cheapest. So if you go at this uh, now with nitric acid, this uh, six karat gold block, you can see. Um, yeah, I wasn't supposed to do that. You can see that I can dissolve right through and actually completely liberate an atom of gold here. See that? But I can of course uh, keep going unimpeded and dissolve right through the sample. And the gold will end up being a fine powder, which you can then take and dissolve with aquariga. <clears throat> Alright, hopefully that explains it. Let's, uh, let's go back to full size before we run out of time here. And we're back to full size. That was fun. Uh, keep in mind, uh, silver, copper will also work. Uh, copper forms large crystals, but yeah, it still separates the gold out. You know, anything that nitric acid can dissolve will work for incortation. So this is actually a companion video to go with the project that I've been working on uh, basically all week. This was originally going to be part of that video, but uh, it was getting very long, so I ended up uh, making my own standalone video. Uh, that should be published here in a little while, uh, so stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Oh my, wow. Look at that. So this bullet's been dissolving in the acid for uh, a little over an hour now. You can see those huge crystals getting exposed.